Wow. Terrence Bud Crawford, in a recent interview, blames black people for creating, I guess, a division that has seen his fight or a potential fight with Errol Spence not happen. We're about to talk about all that more in this video. Y'all want to check this one out. Yo, what up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Very interesting comments from Terrence Crawford. Crawford is in the UK, and a recent addition to his gym and trainer Bo Mack is Amir Khan. Amir Khan, as you guys know, is fighting Kell Brook. Before I get started, one, subscribe to the channel. Run them numbers up. Two, if you are interested in the U.S., or areas that support ESPN Plus. If you're interested in watching Amir Khan versus Kell Brook, click the link in the description. There's an ESPN Plus link. That's my direct affiliate link, or the link tree will take you straight there. If you wanna watch the Amir Khan and Kell Brook fight, get ESPN Plus, link in the description. This does go help the channel and support the channel in future growth and enable me to do more on the channel for you guys. So. Amir Khan and Kell Brook, so basically, so realistically, I got me fight with Amir. That fight is this weekend again. Watch it. Click the link in the description. Order the fight from yours truly. Crawford is working with Amir Khan. He's probably spar with them. He's in the gym together. He said some very interesting things. Without further ado, roll the clip. It's been great. When you guys are in the same room, on camera together, there is a a playful respect and it's definitely the tension that two fighters so it's not like there's some kind of deep-seated hatred or anything and it's definitely the tension that two fighters will have but not spite like these so it's not like there's some kind of deep-seated hatred or anything so the host is talking about the errol spence like when we've seen videos with you and errol spence you don't have like a deep-seated hatred between the two you you spoke with them and stuff off record and this is a response can you call Errol Spence? And everybody says fighters can make fights, regardless of promoters and networks. Can you two have a one-on-one? -on -one? I did that. I what did happened? That. Listen, you know, for whatever reason, you know, the fight's not happening. It's not happening. But I do believe the fight. he wants to fight. So right off rip right there, we have something that's highly confusing. Now Crawford is saying that Errol Spence, in fact, does want the fight, but he just did an interview in December, or actually wasn't an interview. He jumped in the ocean in December, December 8th or December 9th, 2021. And he said, Errol, where you at? I'm looking for you. Where are you at? And he's done previous interviews where he said that Errol Spence don't want to fight. So he's done. He's off that. He don't really care. But then in this interview, he's saying, I believe Errol Spence wants to fight. So to me, I'm highly confused. Like, which one is it? Because you've said both at this point. So it sounds like bi or even tripolar. If you say he, he doesn't want the fight, then he does want to fight. And then go back to saying he does, doesn't want to fight. You know what I mean? Listen, you know, for whatever reason, you know, the fight's not happening. It's not happening. But I do believe the fight, he wants to fight and I've been wanting to fight, but I think the politics behind, you know, closed doors is the reason why the fight never happened. You know, when you got two black fighters, when you got a segregating from, oh, you on top rank, uh, we PBC. So just to further my point, cause I, I'm not here 2022, I'm not here to play any games. You guys just heard Terrence Crawford says, listen, from, for what it's worth, my take that Errol Spence, he, I think he wants to fight. For whatever reason, you know, the fight's not happening. It's not happening. But I do believe the fight, he wants to fight. I do believe he wants to fight. Bam. This is what Terrence Crawford, I told you, I don't play no games. Terrence Crawford claims Errol Spence Jr., quote, really didn't want the fight. 
This was from October 13th, 2021, Give Me Sport, right? So right there, that's why I told you I was confused. He literally just said Errol Spence wants to fight and basically is not the holdup. It says Terrence Crawford has turned up the pressure on Errol Spence, claiming his fellow American really didn't want the fight. So in October, you said he didn't want the fight. And then now you're saying in the UK, the week of Amir Khan fight, that he does want the fight. So to me, these things are always going to be confusing because in a small space of time, you've said different things. Let's continue. It's been great. From, oh, you on top range, been wanting to fight, but... Listen, you know, for whatever reason, you know, the fight's not happening. It's not happening. But I do believe the fight, he wants to fight. And I've been wanting to fight. But I think the politics behind, you know, closed doors is the reason why the fight never happened. You know, when you got two black fighters, when you got a segregating from, oh, you on top rank, uh, we PBC, and this and that and that and this everybody bringing up all these excuses instead but th this is what i don't understand he's saying everybody bringing up all these excuses the cold war in boxing that's not an excuse that sounds like delusion if you're not willing to admit things that are apparent like we're in a pandemic we have been this is not the the way the normal quality of life people are losing their lives some states like my state of california you have to wear a mask so that's like someone saying, oh, California, you know, they're, they're wearing masks and stuff, trying to act like we're in a pandemic. No, we're in a pandemic, even though certain states, the governing body haven't, uh, hasn't like allowed a uh, mask or, or is not enforcing the mask, it still doesn't change the fact. So there's a difference between stating facts and being realistic and, and then not doing that. So Crawford is saying this as if the fans are to blame because we're the ones that are creating a division instead of allowing the fight happen. But we're, we're not the people in suits that are putting up the money or have the relationships with the venues in order to make the fights happen anyway. So how is it the fans fault? But let's continue. Closed doors is the reason why the fight never happened. You know, when you got two black fighters, when you got a segregating from Oh, you on top rank, uh, we PBC, and this and that and that and this. Again, you on top rank, you on PBC, that's a reality. The The fact is top rank and PBC has not done much business together. And I don't even really include the Wilder versus Fury fight because that fight, the first one, was established without ESPN and without top rank. And it was ended in like a cliffhanger on a draw. So at the end of the day, that's why they had the, the other two. They needed the trilogy for that fight. So I don't really give top rank credit for that because the inception of that fight was done without top rank or ESPN. So they kind of just got they seen that Fury got up like the Undertaker and then they got in bed, you know, offered him some money and did business with him after, but they're not the reason Wilder Fury One even happened. So I don't give them credit for that joint promotion. You notice Sean Porter, PBC just sent him over to fight Terrence Crawford on ESPN. They didn't do anything with the promotion. They didn't overly promote it. It wasn't a joint venture. It was a ESPN top rank. So Terrence Crawford is saying these things as if none of them really exist. And like, it's like the boogeyman under the bed and it's not really there. But there's a difference between saying a boogeyman under the bed and there's it's an imaginary noise or something a kid heard versus there's literally a person under the bed. So if there's a person under the bed, then that needs to be dealt with. If it's an imaginary thing and, you know, it's a boogeyman or a figment of someone's imagination, that's something different. The Cold War is absolutely real and it has been the case in boxing. So Crawford, what he's saying here doesn't really make sense. And he's almost blaming the fans for the divide. But that's we didn't cause this as fans. Segregating from, oh, you on top rank, uh, we PBC, and this and that and that and this. Everybody bringing up all these excuses. Instead of coming together, we want to tear each other down. You know, um, it's crazy. How are we, how is anyone tearing anyone down by being realistic? So I'm, I'm totally 
lost. Which Tear is, each other down. You know, um, it's crazy, you know, as a as a black race, you know, for us to always want to tear each other down instead of build each other up. See, he said, so he's blaming black people. He said, as a black race. <laughs> All right. All these excuses, instead of coming together, we want to tear each other down. You know, um, it's crazy, you know, as a, as a black race, you know, for us to always want to tear each other down instead of build each other up. You know, I think that's the only thing that's been basically preventing the fight because I think if we all came together and said all right well this is the fight we want you know and we not supporting no other fight until y'all fight each other then you know that's that's what we get instead of I mean I, I'm completely lost with this point so basically black people or the black race and divisive behavior has prevented the fight but the fans and black people aren't the ones necessarily pulling the strings again with the venues or the networks or whatever so how is it our fault how is it the fans fault for creating this he says if we boy so with the black fans have to boycott errol spence and ugas a fight that's good in order to prove a point so you could get a fight so there's no accountability for terrence crawford's own personal choices that he's made like signing with top rank re-signing with top rank um getting with a jewish promoter that would later turn on him and say i'm losing money every single time terrence crawford fights and now you're suing them but this is not the problem according to crawford black fans have created like build up a wall and that's more of a problem I, i'm just i'm so shocked with with this statement right because i think if we all came together and said all right well this is the fight we want you know and we not supporting no other fight until y'all fight each other then you know that's that's what we get instead of uh we don't need him or he's the b side or he's the a side and take this money and take that money 60 40 and all that you know that's just you know stuff that never was even on the table you know people just hear a narrative and then they'll run with it and then they'll use they they network channels to feed that to the the people that really don't know boxing you know and then that's when you get the narrative and that's when everybody starts saying this and saying that and then you get team Crawford and then you get team Spence and then you get his fans and then you get my fans and then everybody going against each other when in reality we should be on the same team we're trying to make the fight happen have you ever had that conversation with Earl Spence of course of course like I, said, like I said he he he's being eager to have the fight as well so once again terence crawford is reiterating that errol spence is eager to have the fight but then a month ago he jumped in the ocean and said errol where you at i'm looking for you and made it look like errol spence was ducking and a bunch of terence crawford fans said that they said in fact that errol spence is a duck artist and and this was the narrative that was pushed then i already showed you the clip where he said Errol Spence really don't want to fight, but he's confirmed at least two times in this interview that he does believe Errol Spence wants to fight. So it just looks all over. He, the he's being eager to have the fight as well, you know, but for some odd reason, you know, they veered to do other things and you know. some odd reason they veered to do other things. The other things is fighting a guy who has exactly what you have one belt. And that's your Dennis Ugas veered for some odd reason. They're fighting a guy who's already in the network. He's not going to demand the same purse that Crawford wants. He has one belt just like Crawford. And oh, yeah, that's right. He's coming off of a better performance, in my honest opinion, because he fought a Hall of Famer and dismantled Manny Pacquiao. Um, I want to it's up to my promoter. Uh, do, 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 do versus Crawford was in pretty tough with Sean Porter before getting the stoppage and his own team said hey they got you down on the scorecards bro you know what I'm saying so he's making it sound like this is hard to fathom but it's not you know, I, be I believe the fight will happen you know now he's saying the fight will happen but previously he said the fight won't happen I, like he said you know he want to fight all those guys and then fight me last that's 
the route that he want to do. You know, I'm a, I'm a straightforward guy. I want to go straight for the head. You know, mm. and that's just me. So that's Terrence Crawford. He somehow found a way to blame black people, I guess, for the failures. It's not none of his business decisions. But I got I have to unpack this in, in multiple videos. But that's all that I really want to talk about. I I don't understand why he's suing top rank. So keep in mind, top rank. You have Bob Arum, who is a Jewish man out of New York, if I'm not mistaken, Harvard graduate, and you're suing him and his company and his stepson, Todd DeBuff, who's also not black. And in this lawsuit, you're saying that there's a lack of um, diversity in the staffing at top rank and people of color at top rank, but somehow you fashioned a way to blame black people people or black race or black fans for creating a wall donald trump style and you know creating some kind of divide that has kept the fight from happening and then you've also went back on your word and said errol spence does want the fight versus previously that's not what you said you said that terrence crawford claims errol spence really didn't want the fight highly confusing statements from terrence crawford stay tuned for the latest and greatest i'll keep you guys posted let me know how i did in this video and what your thoughts are subscribe in a month the future is now the hibernation fives by kanichi bear hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones out of the box you can connect to any console or pc bluetooth ready with a low latency usb adapter color rgb and extreme bass mode the hibernation fives adjust to you whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster.